You know, we talk so much about how the economy has been rough for so long for millions of Americans. But on the upside to some of this, it can mean great business, in fact, booming business for pawn shops. We're not just talking about the ones you see on TV either. CBS News contributor Priya David Clemens visited one busy shop in San Francisco. From the ordinary to the unique, nearly every item in this San Francisco pawn shop tells a story of someone just trying to make ends meet. 40, 60, 75. When 24-year-old Jesse Hanlon, a political science student at UCLA, lost part of his financial aid package, he needed a way to cover expenses. I'm just a few thousand dollars short of uh, the money they offered me for uh, financial aid, so I'm trying to get that, try to, trying to scramble it up everywhere I can get it. Jesse's story is a familiar one to Pacific loan and jewelry owner Michael Krasow, who's witnessed 40 years of economic ups and downs. When I started, we averaged maybe 10 to 20 loans a day. Today we probably wrote 80, which is a slower day. We can write up to 150 loans a day. There used to be a stigma in coming to a pawn shop, but that's changing. It's become a necessary reality for many cash-strapped Americans. What brought you here today? Um, to get extra money for food for, you know, my kids. The pawn industry has been demystified and even glorified by recent hit reality TV shows like Pawn Stars and Hardcore Pawn. I'm trying to see if I can get at least 200 for it. It may be one reason people seem more willing to avoid banks and credit cards. No questions asked. We're seeing a group of customers at a level that's not normal to what we've been, what we've had. They've evidently made a lot of money at one point, have a lot of nice things, and uh, turning them into cash. Jesse Hanlon walked out with a $200 loan on the gold bracelets his mother gave him. And if I don't get it back, that'd just be devastating. But for now, the money, he says, will help meet his tuition deadline. Up to 90% of customers come back to this shop for their items. But at an interest rate of 35 to 40%, getting cash has its price. Priya David Clemens, CBS News, San Francisco. And joining us now is Les Gold, owner of American Jewelry and Loan in Detroit, and you may recognize him from True TV's hit reality show Hardcore Pawn. Great to have you. It was just fascinating to watch. Thank you very I'm much. Just, I'm fascinated by this whole, you know, everything that people bring in. Have you noticed a real change in your in your clientele and the folks who bring stuff in? Well, people have always brought stuff in. You know, we deal with a thousand people a day. So a thousand people a day bring an enormous assortment of merchandise. So I brought a little bit with me, you know, so people could really see what the average person would bring in. What the average person would bring. And, and have you noticed a change, though, especially with the economy? Detroit hit very hard in terms of what people are bringing in. People are bringing in anything and everything. You know, <laughs> if it has value, they're bringing it to the pawn shop. You know, people need five bucks or five thousand dollars. So whatever they need, we're there to help them. So you brought some really interesting items here. What are some we of did. your favorites that you brought for? Well, us? one of my most favorite items is the Olympic torch. You know, a gentleman came in that that ran with it, and he ended up selling it to us. Um, most people that come in don't sell us items. They pawn us items. That's why we're a pawn shop. Right. Um, but you see, we have, you know. Wait, I got to stop you. What would that go for? Well, it's not actually for sale. It's, it's going to stay in our office. This is some, <laughs> you know, the really cool stuff like that particular item we're going to keep. But, you know, everything else is for sale. Okay, so that's, that one's not, some of the other things you have, I mean, you have some beautiful jewelry here. You have, is that a Michigan ring over there? That is a Michigan ring. Um, that was from a Big Ten championship. Yep. I mean, we have Super Bowl rings. We have platinum and diamond rings, Rolexes, Tanzanite and diamond bracelets, um, an assortment of, you know, Baseball cards. Baseball cards, video games. And eye touch. I mean, you name it, you've got We it. have everything. You know, if you've seen the show, you see that there are vast amounts of merchandise. But do you ever turn anything away? Well, of course you do. You know, people come in with unrealistic expectations. So we try to give them as much as we can. That's why we're a pawn shop. You know, one of the, one of the theories that, that we've come up with now is the Internet. You know, the Internet and the transformation of, of pawn shops. We have, a, we have a website called pawndetroit.com that you could download a piece of merchandise, get its value, and find out how much it's actually worth. If you take it into your local pawn shop, mm -hmm. and, and pawnbrokers across the country will benefit from that, yeah. as well as the, as the customer. Um, have you noticed a difference? We talked a little bit about the people coming in every day to pawn something. What about the people who come in to buy things? Have you noticed a change well, in that at all with the economy? We certainly haven't. And what we've seen with that is people want to save money. The best way to save money is go to your local pawn shop. Um, you can buy an item, and I'll just make pretend that there's a number of $1,000. You go to the pawn shop, you could buy that same item 
for 400. Wow. Um, you know, people still have anniversaries, people still have birthdays, people still get engaged. And when the economy was really bad a couple years ago, we saw an upturn in the retail market. You know, again, again, with, you know, people on the internet, and I don't mean to to talk about the website, yeah. but if you go to pawndetroit.com, but you're you can throw the URL in there what anyway. What the heck can I say? <laughs> you know, I have to do you're something. A, you're a wise businessman. But, but you can buy, you know, people across the country can get the same deal sitting on their couch. Um, you talked about, you know, the Olympic torch is one of your favorites. It what is. is the craziest thing someone has ever brought in? I mean, has there been a moment when you said, I cannot believe somebody just walked in with this item? About a month ago, a gentleman walks in, and Ashley and I are standing at the counter, and he doesn't have anything in his hand, and he proceeded to pop out his eyeball. You know, that's one <laughs> Wait of those. Wait a minute. Really? Yes. I, that, was, that was a very sickening little situation. Did you take it? Uh, well, eyeballs are kind of size specific, mm. um, color specific. Kind of tough to sell. Yeah, you know, if yeah. you have blue eyes and you got a brown eye, it's tough to, you know, Some color people have for. one of each. I get it. I have a girlfriend. I'm Two different sure, eyes. but that's natural. This was, yes. you know, this was something that really was something that doesn't happen on a regular basis, but prosthetic limbs, you know, a guy came in, if you've uh -huh. watched, you know, the Hardcore Pawn, the show, uh, you've seen a guy come in on a prosthetic limb and walk out with 50 bucks and two crutches. So wow. he came back to pick it up, but there's, Good. you know what, desperate times calls for desperate measures, yeah. and people really come in with everything. But don't bother with the eye, and you cannot find it online. You Let's cannot. Go. <laughs> Let's go. Very nice to have you here. Feel free to leave any of that jewelry or the Rolex if you'd like. Not a problem. Okay. We'll take care of you. Thanks again. Thanks for having me.